So she was born in the World War One. Is that okay with you? All around. We just crashed into that car. Yesterday, I went to visit some cave here in Sagada, and it was really, really cool. It was like tiny little passages and crawling everywhere, and the cave itself was pretty amazing, like underwater, underground waterfalls, and amazing crystal structures. Michael, you will have this. I will be fine. No, you, Michael, and. The other one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Michael and Michael too. <laughs> <laughs> Mango. So we don't have mango here. Sideways. And then sideways. Tanan. Sideways. Sideways to the right. Sideways to the right. And doing that, I met two, a couple, so a uh, Irish guy and a Filipino girl, and they told me that here in the Philippines, quite close here, is actually the oldest tattoo artist in the world. And she's 100, 106 years old, so she was born in the World War I. And uh, so I kind of got intrigued by that, right? I don't have any tattoo, nor did I ever plan to get one, at least a commercial one. But themes, this seems pretty interesting, especially since it's such a unique opportunity. I guess she probably won't be there for very, very long. No, she's incredibly healthy and happy looking. And she's a very, very uh, famous lady here. She's an icon, even featured on a Vogue magazine. That's what I do a little bit of research yesterday. I didn't know about her before. Uh, yeah, so since they're, they're already going there, I arranged that I'm going with them because it's about three, four hours drive. Um, so everything just kind of added up. So I met the people, they're already going there, they're willing to take me with them. Uh, so yeah. These kind of opportunities, they come while solo traveling. This was completely unplanned. I planned to go to Banawe rice fields today, but I'm doing that. So these kind of opportunities while solo traveling are unique and yeah, I think you should, you should take them. So yeah, today it's a very, very exciting day. So I waited for this, uh, my friend at the meeting point for quite a while. But I didn't have connection, so I couldn't communicate with him because I don't have data. And there was no Wi-Fi and there were no people for a hotspot and anything, so... Uh, yeah, eventually... Oh no, 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 this one. Eventually... Um, another one. So, uh, Eventually, after waiting more than an hour, I finally realized, and I was sure by that time that something was uh, wrong, so I, I finally got to a lady that could speak English and have a Wi-Fi data, so could give me a hotspot, and I saw that he messaged me way before that one of the team members got really sick in the night, 
uh, cells to protect the tattoo artist because she's really old and her immune system is probably not as strong anymore so to protect her the trip was cancelled but that's a shame but it's nobody calls stuff like that happen The unfortunate situation now is that I was, I did already have a transportation, a free transportation from a friend to the place that I'm going now, Batat, but I cancelled it because of this tattoo artist. But now when this is cancelled, I have to get there by myself, so I'm hitchhiking again, so hopefully that works. Mm, so yeah, that tattoo artist got me very intrigued. Unfortunately, it's not happening now. But since I'm staying here for six more days in the northern part, if another chance comes, maybe we'll do that. Otherwise, I'll just see the rice fields and maybe something more. So yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. But it happens and that's okay. So I got a few rides, but I didn't really move very much because they were short rides. Now it's hot already and I have all these bags with me and it's heavy and it's hot. I'm pretty exhausted. And it's difficult to hitchhike in that kind of scenario because you always want to be in a good mood, good mood when you're hitchhiking. Because nobody wants a depressed person in their car. So always try to be happy and cheerful even though you're not. Yeah, because it's way more likely to get a ride. Anyway. Yeah, today just things are not really going out very well. One of those days. That, mm, but I'll, I'll get to my next destination eventually. And then hopefully get another chance to meet the tattoo artist. I always try to be on the move. On the move when I'm hitchhiking, I don't really stand still. And um, just put my finger up like this because that that's when I'm not making any progress anyway because at least if I'm walking I'm going somewhere even though in reality for long distances obviously what I'm going now I make no progress but I just here um, helps me feel good that I'm just getting closer to my destination <laughs> So I always do that and I think it's even more likely to be picked up if you already walk in the same direction than just standing, kind of from experience. But here just not very many cars, so that's difficult, but yeah, I'll get there, I'll get there. And I could pick up a bus, but not too expensive and I go in that direction. But that would be too easy, so that wouldn't be much of a challenge. Uh, I don't like things that are easy. So this hitchhiking is always a challenge, especially in South Asia where it's not common at all. Uh, but Philippines is kind of good, kind of good for hitchhiking. It works. and Indonesia that's difficult because the concept of hitchhiking doesn't really exist there in Philippines they're a bit more international so they've heard of it or something so it, it works still difficult still much more difficult than Europe yeah. mm, it's a challenge it's always a challenge which is good what doesn't challenge you doesn't change you higher lens yeah, if it's really too, cool. too close, you know what I mean? <laughs> and a uh, baby photo with my brother. That's cute. <laughs> yeah. Kind of smiling. 
Mm. And the name of my best friend on my feet. Oh. Is that okay with you? Yeah, it is. The size. It is. Yeah. I like it. But when it, it's going, it doesn't hurt. It's all the rubble. <laughs> A little bit. First tattoo, I never planned to get one in the first place, at least not a commercial one, mm -hmm. but something like this, yeah. pretty cool. Oh, nice. Free stitching Philippines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Right. No, now it's quite okay. Oh, yeah? rate, rate, one to ten. Like, Four. Oh, oh sweet. Let me see. Let me So I just got my first ever tattoo here with a tattoo artist and it looks pretty beautiful and we get the stick and the aftercare she said only don't soak into water and keep it clean don't put anything on it so pretty pretty straightforward and it's about it's supposed to heal in two, from one week to one month and there's some other people getting it but I'm pretty happy how it turned out so gonna be an amazing reminder of this amazing time that I had. <laughs> kind of a cool thing also yeah, is that we just met yesterday and now we're doing tattoos together. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, it is. So she got the, the sun or the moon? The which one? Sun. Well, you can choose. <laughs> okay, which one? <laughs> 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 I got the traveler's yeah, compass <laughs> and her mother is getting a sun, I believe. Yeah. Just a cool, cool thing. It hasn't really sank in yet, so I don't really feel any different than any kind, but I'll probably look at it in a few days and realize okay, that's permanent, that's forever. But it's good, because it's a good memory. Let it be permanent. And while doing that, we just figured out there are some puppies probably just got born like I don't know a week ago here <laughs> probably not even a week so underneath here underneath this hut I just we just found some puppies <laughs> Everything here is done really, really simply, so they don't even disinfect the skin before, <laughs> like some alcoholic wipe or something like this, and they don't even shave. Um, I'm not particularly heavy, but anyway, <laughs> so everything, and, and we've done it here in the hostel. They just arrived, and we've done it in the in the common area of the hostel. So, yeah, that's that's Philippines. So yeah, I think it's funny. Um, hopefully it's not gonna get infected or something like this. I'm sure it's not because they do this all the time. But yeah, just things work a bit more simply in the Philippines. Ah, uh, but yeah, I really like it. So a traveler's compass. So yeah, that's permanent because the the commercial tattoos I think you can remove <laughs> if you decide quite easily with this ray ray um laser removal but i don't think this is that simply because here they use the the needle is the torn from a pomelo tree so it's thick really really thick um, un, uncomparably thicker to the commercial super thin needles that they use um and yeah they would use so this pomelo torn and the coffee coffee tree stick and they would like pound it into your skin so it hurts kind of a lot because obviously the needle is so thick but it's it's manageable <laughs> if i survived two michelin star restaurant yeah the pain this pain is nothing <laughs> so 
so the whole process took maybe like 30 minutes pretty quick and it costed me 1200 pesos which is about 20 euros so non-expensive tattoo simple beautiful and meaningful so for sure a good experience unfortunately we didn't meet the upper one code because she's not here so because I heard mixed opinions some people said she is here and some people said only her grandnieces are here and it turns out she's not here because she's too old she cannot travel so she's at home so we didn't have the chance to meet her but we met her grandnieces who, who do the designs so that's also something <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it for the Philippines and I'm flying to Hanoi as my last country in Southeast Asia Vietnam 27th so in very soon very very soon it's currently 5 in the morning and the reason I'm up so early is because I have a flight that goes to Hanoi from Manila tomorrow morning at 5.25 so more than 24 hours but since the distances here are so slow yeah I'm traveling there now because I cannot risk the, the night bus because it might arrive too late because of the traffic or something so I'm trying to get there by day even though it's only like 350 kilometers but here in the Philippines they can take like uh, 20 hours <sighs> yesterday when we were just walking here with my with my friends and we stumbled upon the, the school which was um, one room was open which said the principal's office and I was like do you want to meet the principal and they were like okay sure so we went into the office and there was an old lady sitting there <laughs> and she was the principal and we had a little bit of talk with her she was super happy to see foreigners to visit her school um, yeah, we we'll have a talk for a moment, and then, then she would invite us um, to visit some of the classrooms. So we would we would go to the actual kids' class. We go to English class, to history class, to science class, and just talk random stuff with the kids, like where we are from and whatever they were studying in science class. They had a studying about nuclear energy so these kids were like 12 11 12 so I explained a bit about nuclear power plants <laughs> I don't know much but since I'm a bachelor in mechanical engineering the basic principle I understand so that was that and just the whole thing the kids was the like the, this was the happiest day of their life they, they, <coughs> they probably don't have or never had foreigner visiting their school and I was super happy and we were super happy because it was just, just so cool just a very complete spontaneous fun experience and to this day after all this travel this is still probably one of my favorite uh, moments because it was so unexpected and so zero um, zero expectations and it turned out <coughs> the best so what if I want to leave you with something with this video would be to to just be spontaneous and and leave the opportunities you're given just just take them and do whatever you can so we walked past this principal office we walked in and it was the beginning of one of the most fun and memorable adventures um, I guess it would be much more fun for you to to see what I'm not just late see me talk what I'm talking about but I usually don't feel the film this stuff because um, then it would kind of, I wouldn't be so present in the moment, which is a shame. And and also people act um, people act differently when they are on camera, so it was also it would it wouldn't be as real. But I have a photo and I post it here. So yeah, this is one of my favorite moments ever to this day. We just crashed into that car. Crazy Manila today. <laughs>